overflows. God is vertical movement. There are two types of movements, vertical and horizontal. Time is the world. It is horizontal movement and eternity is God. This is vertical movement. All horizontal movements are part of your finite world and vertical movements are journey into eternity or God or innerness. While you are with me listening to this overflow, be here with me. Be totally here with me so that you can learn a new mode of movement. But do not listen through the mind but through the heart. Only then you can move into eternity, not in time. Time is the world and eternity is God. Horizontal movement is worldly and vertical movement is godly or eternal. Both meet at a point. That is where Jesus is crucified. The confluence of the vertical and horizontal movement. Both meet the horizontal and vertical at a point. And that point is now and here. Jesus represents the moment of now and here. From here and now, you can go into two directions. One, journey in the world, in the future, in the past. The other is journey into eternity, into depth or in height. Become more and more aware, alert and sensitive to present the here now. How can it become possible? You are so fast asleep that you can make that a dream as well. You can make that itself a thinking object, a thinking process. You can become so tense about it that just because of this, you cannot be here now in the present moment. Then thinking has just entered and it will not help. If you feel too much guilt, you are immediately moved, moving into the past. It has been such a long routine and sometimes you will start thinking about the future. Immediately you will feel guilty that you have committed a sin again. <clears throat> Here now at the present moment is a crossroad. From there you can move towards the world along the horizontal line or you can move into the depth of eternity. Never become guilty. Understand this sin but do not become guilty. And this is very, very delicate. If you become guilty, you have missed the whole thing. Now, in a new way, in a new way, the old patterns begins. And you feel guilty because you have missed the present moment. You start thinking about the past because the present is no longer present. It is a very delicate moment. You take a sip of tea and the moment, no sooner than you take the sip, it has become the past. Now the taste is into your imagination into taste is in your past. Taste is the past experience. 
and this creates a problem. You start thinking about the past because that present is no longer available to you. It is now past and you begin to feel guilty about it and you are still missing. So remember one thing. Whenever you remember that you have gone into the past or the future, do not create any problem out of it. You have to understand this. This is the mind game. And the word Buddha comes from the mind. Buddha was a mind. The moment he transcended the mind, he became no mind or Buddha. Out of the mind, when you come out into the vast open space, you become, you are a Buddha. So your half of the journey is already finished because you are the mind. Now you have to come out of it. It's not that you have to enter the mind first and then come out. You are already inside it. So do not create any problem out of it. Instead, simply come to the present moment. Not creating any problem, it is okay. Simply bring back your awareness. You forget, come back again. <coughs> Start up anew, again you miss. Many times it will happen. You will still miss millions of times. It is not going to happen right now, immediately, this very moment. It can happen, but it cannot happen because of you. You have such a long, long, fixed mode of behavior that you cannot change it right now. Buddha took six long years to change that attitude of the mind. There is no worry. Remember, God is not in a hurry. Eternity can wait eternally. Do not create tension about it. Whenever you feel you have missed, come back. And that is all you need to do. You are listening to me. You move out. You forget that you are listening, a thought comes in, you go and attend to that and come back. When I am talking in my business place during a meditation session, it happens a customer comes in, I have to attend to that and then come back to continue where I had left. So there is no guilt feeling and there is no break of continuity. Those who attend the live sessions, they will understand that. Whenever you feel you have missed, come back and that is all. There is no need to feel guilty. Guilt is a trick of the mind. And now it is playing the game. Do not repent that once again you miss, once again you forgot. Just when you think so, come back to whatsoever you are doing, taking your bath, eating your food, going for a walk, come back. The moment you feel you are not here now, come back simply and innocently. There is no need to create guilt. If you become guilty, then you will miss the whole point. There is sin and there is no guilt, but difficult for you. If you feel there is something wrong, you become immediately guilty. The mind is very, very cunning and plays tricks always. You become guilty, the game has started again and now on a new ground, but the game is same old. People say we go on forgetting, 
and suddenly they become so sad because they have forgotten. We try but we remember only for a few seconds. We remain alert, self-remembering, then again this is lost. What to do? Nothing can be done. It is not a question of doing at all. It is what can you do? The only thing is and that can be done is not to create guilt. Simply come back. You have forgotten. When you remember, come back again. The more you come back simply, innocently, it is better. But remember not to return with a very serious face or much effort. Return simply and innocently without creating any problem out of it. Because externally, because eternity has no problems. All problems exist on the horizontal plane. So, so too, this problem will also exist on the horizontal plane. Vertical plane knows no problem. It is sheer delight without any anxiety, without any anxiety, anguish, worry, guilt or anything else. Be simple and come back. You will miss many times because it is taken for granted but there is no need to worry about it. That is how it is. You will miss many times before you arrive but that is not the point. Point is not how many times you missed. Point is that you do not pay attention to the fact that you have missed many times. Pay attention to the fact that you have regained many times. Remember this, the emphasis should not be on that you missed many times. It should be that you have regained remembrance many a times. Feel happy about it that you missed, of course, is as it should be. You are human. You have lived on the horizontal plane for many, many lives. So it is natural for you to forget. The beauty is that many times you will come back and that is what very is very important. You have done the impossible, feel happy about it. In 24 hours, 24,000 times you may, you will miss, but 24,000 times you will regain again. Now a new mode will start functioning in you. So many times you will come back home. Now a new dimension is breaking in by and by. More and more you will be able to see, stay in awareness and less and less you will go back and forth. The span of going and forth, going back and forth will get smaller and smaller. Less and less you will forget. More and more you will remember. With this you are entering the dimension of vertical. Suddenly one day the horizontal disappears Intensity comes to awareness and the horizontal disappears totally. That is the reason behind Shankar, Vedanta and Hindus calling this world illusory. Enough for now.